Hello. Good morning again. Happy Tuesday. It is the 9th. Um, it's a little bit drizzly today, so I um, decided to film up here. Welcome back to Connie's Corner. Uh, last time we met, we uh, transplanted a uh, sun, uh, not sunflower, it looks like a sunflower, but uh, <laughs> echinacea plant, which was the cayenne spirit um, version of the echinacea. And um, I also planted some echinacea, purple echinacea in the pot, because one is actually for wound care, the other one is for colds and flu. So I planted two different types. So I gave you a little snapshot earlier of how beautiful the echinacea just fit in with the rest of my garden friends. Um, today we're gonna talk about different types of containers and what can I use? Well, there is no limit to what you can use. That's the beautiful part about it. You can get as creative as you want. You can be as cheap as you want. I definitely say look for free things that you can convert. I have always been into, as long as I can remember as a little girl, walking through uh, at my grandma's house, and I forget it, walking through a field and people had threw a whole bunch of junk in there and I would walk in and go, why would anybody throw any of this stuff away and totally repurpose that? I mean, that young, I saw the beauty in things that other people felt was trash. And so still, Later in life, I'm going to tell you my age, even though I am proud to be who I be. <laughs> uh, I still continue to repurpose um, things for a new life. And um, that beauty is gardening. So I'm going to show you a few ideas, um, what you can use. In fact, I found something this morning that I totally love and I can't wait to repurpose. But let's start off with something natural so i um was blessed to have someone give me a gourd i've been trying to grow those for a while but i don't think i was attentive to them and totally forgot that i planted them so i didn't care for it like i should so did not get a gourd but a friend of mine actually um gave me a gourd and uh i drilled some holes in the bottom of it and it is a planter. I've used this, obviously, several times before. The only thing that I don't like about using this is if you can see the bottom, it kind of doesn't like water to stay on it. But if you have something like some herbs or something that um, you're going to water, but you let it drain completely out, you're fine. See, I have the holes down here. It will drain completely out. It just can't sit in water. So that was a testament to what I was trying to figure out will it hold and it will just you can't sit it in water uh let's go to something really simple uh let's say any container be it a trash bin um bucket um this probably belonged to a bathroom set scrap now don't use it of course you clean it out real good right this has a crack in it so naturally it's ready to go, honestly. I, I can just drill a few more holes inside of it. it. This is my trusty tool, a regular kitchen knife. And voila, another planter. Um, this is another, this is a dollar store find. Bucket. Cost me a dollar. Put a big old hole in it. I had a banana plant in this before. I have a few plants that I need to um, place in a bigger pot. So, great planter for me. Uh, also, if you want to go with bigger size, remember I told you they have totes. These are some garden totes that they will sell. They run you about 4 or $5 at your local Aldi's. Um, again, I just finished using this for, I had tomatoes in this. I put those in the ground at another location so they can get really, really big. Um, keeping, creeping crops in rotation is really cool, especially when you have other areas to plant them in because you just really utilize your space really well. But this, I'm probably going to put um, some blueberries in there. I can't wait to show you those plants. Um, but again, this is a really nice size. Um, it's about 25. Is it 25 gallons? 25 gallons, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Ugh. And this, these are totes. Regular 
storage bin totes. I've used this as a, a aquarium once before when I had to transplant my um, to transport my fish, um, and um, it was amazing. Uh, it works really well. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to take this regular tote and make it into a row planter where you can plant more than one plant. Because I showed you how to plant one. Let me show you how to kind of simulate a, a garden-like environment for your plants, okay? Um, stay tuned.